My dear busy moms, do you have a self-care routine to help you manage the hustles and bustles that goes along with a busy mom's life? Well, welcome back to my channel where I provide you with positive gems that are able to help you to get along with all the situations concerning your activities of daily living. Now today, my topic that I will be sharing with you um, is entitled How to Create the Perfect Self-Care Routine as a Busy Mom. So I want to help you to create the perfect self-care routine. Now, you should begin by knowing that you're not alone if you answered no to the question in my intro. Because as a busy mom myself, I need to have, you know, some self-care routine as well. Now, according to the Cleveland Clinic, mothers with children under 18 are less likely to exercise self-care. They may not be eating healthy and exercising, visiting with friends and getting enough sleep, or get routine examinations done. Because you are super, super busy attending to the needs of the family. As mothers, you frequently prioritize everything else before yourselves, but the fact is that you occasionally need to take a break. Yes, my super busy moms, you need to take a break. Now, when you absorb the lessons well as a single mother, I have managed to do um, home-based businesses and homeschooling you know what happens if you don't take care of yourself? You become exhausted and that's never, ever, ever a good thing. Because you believe that nobody's happy when their mother isn't. And that's absolutely correct. If the mother is not happy, the children will not be happy. So busy mothers out there, you, you do work nonstop right through the day. You keep working. Now, your kids count on you to be there and get the job done, right? So on some occasions, it appears that, you know, you go on forever and ever. But you don't have time to slow down. That's what you tell yourself, that you have to be always on the go. Now, you simply keep moving on. But the fact is this. You need to take care of yourself. You cannot skip taking care of yourself. Now, when you don't look after yourself, you become worn out, irritable, unpleasant to be around. But this is what happens when you begin to place, you do not place your self-care as priority. You become worn out. So, you know, you feel more at ease and at peace when you take care of yourself. So, my dear busy mothers, it's simpler to get structured and maintain that state of being because when you are, you know, when you have less, less of the burden on yourself to complete certain tasks, then as a matter of that, you start to feel joyful rather than irritated and furious. Now, when you become less burdened, you know, instead of being always irritated, you become a joy for your children and they enjoy being in your presence, my dear busy moms. Now, due to the absence of you being accustomed to yelling, being a stressed out mother, your kids also wind up being happy. Yo, they're happier. So if self-care isn't part of your regular routine yet, here's how to start making time for yourself in a very meaningful way. My dear busy mom, don't feel guilty as a mother. Don't feel guilty. Because my dear busy moms, you are under enormous pressure to be perfect. And not only from the media, but from other mothers also. They abuse each other because you, you're trying to live up to the expectations of some mothers. So if you're not scheduling time for self-care, you should consider whether there is a mom guilt is the reason. Now, you mothers put yourselves on the back burner because you believe it's inappropriate to divert attention from your children, spouses, 
home, you know, as explained in my video, you feel that it's guilty to divert attention. You must place yourself as priority first. You should not waste your time on mom guilt. There's no set guidelines that mandates what we must do in order to be an excellent mother. There is no such guidelines that say that you have to put your families first. No, no, no. And if there is, I am sure that I am not violating any rules, right? I might have two or more times because I know I put myself first some of, well, some of the times. So if you're experiencing mom guilt for prioritizing your needs, keep in mind that taking care of yourself might help you be a better parent for your children and your spouse. So my dear busy mom, don't let the guilt keep you from recognizing what you need to do to relax and recharge as a mom. Do not be burdened by any guilt. So you may go ahead and list some possible self-care routines in a journal, in a book, you know, so that you can decide what works for you. So if you don't regularly take care of yourself, it can be helpful to start by defining what self-care is for you. Self-care for everybody is different, but I guess everyone meets at the same cross-section by taking care of ourselves. For example, finding a favorite pastime, mine is swimming and dancing. <laughs> Consider the elements you want for your self-care routine to have. It could be, for instance, taking a quick nap or you could take a snack of your favorite dessert or basically, you know, you could have one or two times per week. You could put the kids to bed a few minutes earlier to obtain some extra quiet time. And also you can join with other mothers from your church or play group for a mom's night out. Yes, you can have mom's day night. Add some additional minutes on Saturdays to do some things that you like. For example, meditating. That's a good um, hobby that you can pick up. You could do some yoga to help to relax. And you could add some polish to your nails. Or you can have yourself a mini facial on your own. And you can walk by yourself around the block. These are very achievable results. So, my dear busy mothers, aren't some of these examples some things that you are able to manage? It doesn't take much to make a self-care routine work for you. And that's the whole goal. Use manageable self-care routines. Start, you know, slowly. Even a small act of kindness you perform for yourself on a regular basis can have a big impact. Yes, small act of kindness can feel like a huge impact. So additionally, once you get in the habit of taking care of yourself, you will miss it when you don't. So get started so that when you, you say you default, you will feel guilty. So consider how you define self-care. Spend some minutes just coming up with potential actions to take care of yourself. You don't have to need to leave the house and it doesn't have to be expensive. They just have to be things that you like or do or that make you feel peaceful within. Now, check the link in the description above or below to see more awesome informative videos such as decluttering, investing tips, fitness, parenting tips, online businesses, meal delivery services, among other informative, great videos that I prepared for you. So please go ahead. And I do hope you enjoyed viewing the video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, my dear busy mothers. So please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Share this video so other mothers can come along and join my channel. I invite you to join me when I upload another video for you busy mothers out there. So hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload yet another informative videos for you, my dear busy mothers. Bye.